Hey everyone, I don't do a lot of these, but today we're doing an unboxing. This is actually a really cool species of reptile that I've been wanting for a really long time. I did actually have one for a very short period of time, but due to a whole bunch of other events, we don't have it anymore. So really excited we got a pair of them in. Well, supposedly pair, we'll talk a little bit about that. I don't have a cool giant box opener, so I'm just gonna use this super really, this really dull kitchen knife and we'll get started, shall we? So these guys are an amazing species of, li of reptile, I should say. I'll explain it what it is in just a moment. And I've been looking for one for quite some time, but the problem is they're really only available just kind of at weird parts of the year. They're just kind of available off and on, just kind of throughout. We just, I'm, I'm kind of at the mercy of the hobby, unfortunately. So get rid of that. Got a little cool pack in here. Okay, so, da da da, -da first one. And this is the setup behind me, by the way, this four by two enclosure. We'll give updates as it goes along. Today I'm just doing the unboxing, so it'll be a shorter video today. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Come hither. Fly. All right, and here we go. European legless lizard. I've talked about this one pretty often. I talked about it in the uh, reptiles of Europe video. If you guys want to check that out, you absolutely should. And then go check out the playlist of all the other reptiles uh, that make good pets from around the world on every other continent. Um, these guys, unfortunately, are almost all wild collected or wild caught. Um, so when they come in, they have to be uh, kept for a little while, make sure they're stable, and then we get them in. Um, they're really hard to tell whether or not they're male or female. So a lot of people uh, keep a small group of them and watch the behavior, check for mating, things like that, and kind of sort them otherwise. I've heard things about like their head shape or other things, but I'm pretty sure the only way you can really tell is either with a DNA test or by proving them by breeding. But with that being said, um, I know that they can be housed communally if given space and lots of opportunities to uh, get away from each other and to be fed really well. So I'm gonna put them into this four by two enclosure behind me. But if not, I have another enclosure set up, ready to roll. Pardon the iguanas just crashing down to the ground in the background and dogs barking in the background as well. But I'm gonna put this one in and then we're going to open up the other one. All right, so that's one, just says two, okay. Oh, it says male on there, whether or not that's actually true or not. We'll see. As I mentioned before, uh, they're really hard to, they're really hard to sex. And again, apologies for the dogs in the background. So this one says female. I don't know if that's true or not. That'd be really cool if it ended up being that we get a pair. But let's get into here. Again, apologies for the dogs barking. Here we go. This one's a little bit smaller, but looking really lively. Coming out, got those nice little tongue flicks. If you actually, I don't, I don't know if she'll do it, but if you can tell, it's actually a really slight fork at the very end. Like it's a little tiny little fork. I'm not sure if he'll, if she'll do it or not. And I'll do a whole species spotlight about these guys. I just want to get them nice and established first uh, before they go, before we really start talking about them. Um, because I've done an extensive amount of research about them, but I've never actually kept them for long periods of time. So this will be a fun experience for all of us. And I greatly look forward to keeping these guys, being able to hopefully use them for educational animals and educational purposes and doing shows and presentations, and just to have this really cool species of reptile in the hobby. Again, sorry for the stupid dogs. I know I keep mentioning that, but we're gonna get these guys in here. And this is again, going to be a much shorter video, just in a boxing talking about this really cool species of animals. A uh, big thank you to Good Guy Reptile. I think it's Good Guy Reptile that I got these guys from. Um, really cool, very personal, big shout out to them. Greatly looking forward to these guys. Thank you so much. You did a great job packaging these, especially doing, you know, it's getting warmer and shipping and everything going on like that. So we're gonna get this one in here. And I'm actually gonna add, cause it looks a little, like there's a bunch of cork bargain in there. It's a little sparse. I actually have another really big cork tube that I'm gonna throw in there to give them more places to hide and get around and move around each other. But with that being said, let's shut this so they don't wander out while I'm talking, because that's been known to happen before. Um, but thank you guys. I'm really excited for this. I know it's been, it's been a very long day for me because we have to go pick them up in Denver. So it's, I've been up since this morning and it's now late evening, but really excited to get these guys. Just a little tired, sorry about that again. But please look forward to some really cool updates as we see these guys move along. I may determine whether or not they're a pair, if they're cohabitating really well, 
different behaviors about that as well as the species spotlight for them down the road. And I may encompass that all in one video just to make it a little bit of a better presentation for you guys. But I'm super excited for this, guys. This is gonna be really cool. Let me know if any of you guys have kept these and like give me different ideas of how if you've kept them before. I've talked to quite a few other people who have kept them for long periods of time, but I'm always open to hear some other really cool tips and tidbits and ways that have worked for other people. So if you guys have kept these for a long period of time, let me know down below and tell me like how you set them up and how they did and different little cool idiosyncrasies and behaviors that they had. Hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you so much for your watching, for your support, for everything like that. And I hope you're having a great day and we'll check you next time.